got Buck Williams. And yeah, Buck Williams always on the already on the game with the Portland Trailblazers, but prime Buck Williams was in the early 80s with the New Jersey Nets. He actually spent the first uh, eight seasons of his career with New Jersey. The next seven, he was with the uh, the Trailblazers, and then he finished out the last two with the Knicks. First two seasons of Buck Williams' career, he was an all-star. Um, I used the second season. He played all 82 games. He was 22 years old. was 82-83, 17 points a game, three turnovers, 1.3 blocks, 1.1 steals, 1.5 assists, 12.5 rebounds, only shot 62% from the free throw line, but he shot 59% from the field. Uh, Buck Williams was a perennial uh, threat to lead the league in field goal percentage every year. So he got, he took good shots, got great shots, finished by the basket very well. I thought I did a pretty good job on Buck. Really, kind of an undersized power forward, but he was really strong and uh, active, and he really understood angles. Just a very good rebounder. Uh, so, you know. Tried to hook him up there. Nothing special here. I'm just showing you this because this is what we do. I show the uh, signature stuff, but you know there's nothing real crazy here. I mean, Buck's not. He, he ain't windmilling nobody. He ain't crossing nobody over. He ain't throwing down no nasty dunks or nothing too crazy. You know, just the basic stuff, but he, he can ball. He can really ball. I had to hook him up because, I mean, 59% from the field. 12 and a half rebounds, 17 points a game. I had to I had to do him justice. So let's take a look at the rating. An 84 uh, for Buck. So that's good. That's really good. That's good. And you'll see the rebound stuff is is where it, you know, is high. The, the, some of the offensive things not so high like with passing and that sort of thing. But definitely efficient by the basket and a beast of a rebounder. So we got a roll list over to the badges 15 badges six gold one hustle point scrapper tenacious rebound the charge card post lockdown defender and bruiser that's buck Williams. it is time for the next person we got to go deep to the timberwolves and we got tom googly 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 call him googs he played for a few teams Played uh, for Minnesota. He started his career with Washington. Played for 40 games with Golden State. Played for Phoenix, Utah, Boston, Atlanta before ending his career. Um, I felt the best seasons of his career was with Minnesota. He won his only all-star game. He was 96-97. It's the year I used. He was 27 years old. 20.6 points a game. 3.6 turnovers, which is pretty high, but... 1.1 blocks, 1.6 steals, 4.1 assists, 8.7 rebounds, shot 82% from the field, only 26% from three-point range, and 44% from the field. He was a good outside shooter, but um, just the percentages never, I mean, never really, really did it. But he did, he could shoot from the outside, but it was more, you know, the 20 feet, 18 foot range. But he was 16, 240 pounds. He could handle the ball and pass. Uh, if you look up some video highlights of him, like when he was at North Carolina State, which is this was part of the part of the uh, the, uh, the the riddle that I gave out. Now I gotta I gotta shout somebody out on the riddle though. I, I had to do this. Michael Soul, uh, I think it's Soul Soul or Soul. One of the, my uh, YouTube followers, he got it right, and that was beastly because that was like you got to be in the mind of the um, the mind of Mazik to figure out that riddle. And I thought he did a good job. So he got it right. He was the only person, the first person I saw to get the whole riddle right. So I was really tripping that he got Gugliotta right. So, yeah, but that's that there. Let's look at the signature stuff. Again, he's not jumping over nobody. So, you know, just a clean jump shot form. Um, and we, uh, let's see, we're just flipping through this. And let's see, like I said, no crazy. Nothing crazy with these dunks. Nothing crazy. One hand slam, the two hand slam. There we go. Now you know, I gotta let you guys also know this. Keep you up up to speed with the countdown here. After this episode, I think I might have. I don't know what I told y'all last time. I hope I hope I told you the right thing. But this is. I got four more episodes. I think I said six last time. I was one off. I actually got four more episodes. Before I'm ready for the reveal episode. Now, I took a lot of time 
to put this together. So my reveal episode, I'm I'm planning some a little, trying to get a little a little jazzy with it. You know what I mean? So just you know, just wait. I'm working on it at the same time. You know, kind of putting things together uh, conceptually. But yeah, I'm gonna do. But hey, I don't have that much time left. I mean, I could. I'm gonna try to power on through this. I, I want this done before the middle, before the middle of next, before the middle of this week. So today's Sunday. You know, another thing, coincidentally, why I got Tom Gugliotta up today is uh, well, actually, it's not Tom Gugliotta. Uh, I meant I messed that up. So it's somebody's next guy coming up. So let's we're gonna go ahead before I move that. Let's take a look at um, uh, Gugliotta's. Uh, ratings and everything which we didn't look at he got 10 badges none of them go seven silvers though i was all excited to tell y'all what what i was about to say i jumped the gun i jumped the gun here's the ratings he got an 81 pretty average uh i would say but definitely got the skills i try i you know it just felt like he should have got some high in three-point range but the numbers wouldn't allow it but he did hand those handle the ball very well power forward small forward so i hooked him up there um, but now, what I was about to say, as, as I scroll through the rest of these ratings, the next guy is Jawan Howard, Fab Fiver. Now, check this out. I'm pretty happy with the Jawan Howard. I think this is one of my better ones. Also, check this out. What am I doing? Did I, did I get this all wrong altogether? Did I just mess up my whole thing? I think I did. I missed my I missed my everything. I was trying to tell y'all that today was somebody's birthday. Today is Buck Williams' birthday. I just let Buck go on by. I knew it was one of these people that I just did. But today is Buck Williams' birthday. Buck Williams is 55 today. So everybody call Buck up and tell Buck happy birthday. You probably don't have his number, but I, you know what I'm saying. At any rate, Jawan Howard. So, see, I just messed everything up. This is how what happens when I do things all live and I don't, like, plan to do a bunch of edits and all that stuff. I just mess it all up. But anyway, Jawan Howard. I used the se- his second season, his actually only all-star season. 22 years old with the Washington Bullets at the time. 22 points a game. 3.7 turnovers. 0.5 blocks, 0.8 steals, 4.4 assists, 8.1 rebounds, 75% from the free throw line, uh, 49% from the field. Uh, shot a couple threes, then, you know, shot a couple, but not clearly not a three point shooter, right? So I got him as the power forward center, 6'9, 240 pounds. I'm, I'm really pleased with the way that this came out for him. And, uh, but we don't have his uh, shot motions in here. You know what, though? I don't think I like that shot base. It's, I don't because I don't remember him going off to the side. I think it's more like that. Actually, you know what? It's actually more wide leg. That's what it is. I think it's more wide legs. So we're gonna go with that one. Yeah. See, we 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 we're touching it up. We're touching it up. But yeah, uh, Jawan Howard post game was very good. Very good post game. The you know never was a great athlete or you know a big run and jump guy. But the fadeaways, the the back to the basket stuff, over the shoulder hooks, all of those things uh, were part of his game. Uh, but he was never like a, um, a a huge defender from a shot blocking standpoint. But he did play good positional low post defense. So I gave him some love. That as a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons why Juwan stayed in the league so long. Yeah, I got rudely interrupted there. My phone was going off. But yeah, the, you know, Juwan Howard. Um, it's time for me to just take a look at the ratings for Howard here. He got an 80, um, you know, had to take off some for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, lack of explosive athleticism and also not being a shot blocker. So had to take off some stuff there and also 8.1 rebounds. It's not really a lot of rebounds for a power forward, you know, it's just okay. So, you know, uh, had to, you know, but his defensive rebounding numbers were, were, were pretty, they were okay. But, you know, I, I took off a little bit from there. I possibly even should have had the defensive rebounding uh, like a point less. But that was that. But still a decent uh, low post guy, uh, a low post player to get, you know. Nine badges, two goals, screen outlet. Um, real good for the pick and pop game because he can hit the medium range shot. And then the fade eights because that's him down on the block. So... Like I just said, I'm, I'm excited that I got four episodes left before I'm ready for the reveal, right? 
But it's time for the riddle. I like I, I like the riddle. I like the riddle better than the clues. Now this one is this this is kind of because it's even fun coming up with the riddle, right? So check it out. Listen, listen. I spit hot fire. Listen. Not a regular Arkansas Joe, a different brand of man. He won a ring in the Big Apple, but he gave his best years to the Royals. I'm going to say it one more time. Listen, listen, I spit hot fire. Not a regular Arkansas Joe, a different brand of man. He won a ring in the Big Apple, but he gave his best years to the Royals. That's it. I'm dropping the mic. Pow! There it is. All right, so there you go. I appreciate y'all watching. Like I said, four episodes left. Um, God bless y'all. Peace.